Can you hear me again? Hello? Can you hear me? Nope. Yes. Yes. I'm looking five o'clock. All right. Where's Randy? Did you hear the world taking? I did hear that, but I didn't believe it. Here's the bearded freak now. Bearded? Randy ain't got no beard. Okay. Oh, I know. Let me turn this down a little bit more. All right, can you hear me now? Nope. That's a no. Yes. Yes, we can. Nice. Don't lie to him. Don't lie. Hey, Dan, why don't you go landscape with your phone there? Yeah, quit playing with your monkey. No? No landscape, Dan? Um, it's an iPad. And I'm not sure how that works. Turn it sideways. Sideways. Hey, if Randy can do it, you can do it. Ain't no <laughs> shit there. There you go, much better. Your iPad must be set up not to flip. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Okay, job's new to technology also. <laughs> I don't know jack shit. Oh, oh. Did y'all hear uh, the uh, COVID uh, or the uh, the governor of Missouri uh, pushed it to uh, May third now to stay at home? Most governors are doing that. Yep. Well, I agree. I don't think that's long enough either because it's not supposed to peak. If it peaks on time, which it isn't, uh, April 28th. So England pushed yours back to like May 17th. Yeah, that's what it should be, at least until the next pushback. Right. Some people are like, I can't wait till this is all over on, on the 25th and we can all get it back outside. I'm like, that ain't an end date. That's just when they reevaluate. Jesus. <laughs> These people are like thinking they don't. But, 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 but that, that, there's a date. That's what they think. Yep. No wrong. Everybody get their unemployment check or stimulus check yet? I got my last act. Yeah, I got mine. 
I got How much was your 1200 and what? How much change? How much did you get? 1200 and what? I haven't got mine yet. Chris, what was your? Flat. Mine was twelve hundred dollars and forty cents. I was wondering what, what the forty cents. Was. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I thought I was wondering what yours was. If it was even, or if there was a separate, you know, like something else to it, or so odd. All right, what time is it? All right. Time for me to watch. Dan, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Very well. can hear you. Dan is on vacation. I am just trying to set, figure out how to uh, change the setting. Is this what you used last time, Dan? Dan, is this uh, what you used last time? It, it was fine last time. Well, the, I was using my notebook with a hard drive right on it, and I haven't had time. I can barely hear you, Dan. That's because he's a tiny little guy. So where's that McMary's Grill at? Me? You. Oh. She's one of the strippers. Oh. She just told me to always to pick me some food. Okay. I was thinking, hey, a new place to get something to eat. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> She's a cute little Korean girl. No. She, she makes good food all the time. She's always making shit. I don't even can pronounce it she makes, but she likes it. Well, Volmer's at work. Oh. Uh, okay. Did she just text you? Remember. She texted the cat line. Remember, she couldn't keep playing with us um, at Cobb because she couldn't afford to put anything home. The dog man who's super sensitive to this, but she works an awful lot. <laughs> is, uh, is she still working at a private shop or two? No. Yeah. She just had that, that, that bar or whatever. Out here, it's uh, times or um, shenanigans. That's right. But did she quit Price Chopper? Yes. She's working well. Wow. No, she sure. doesn't work at the store anymore. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. I don't know why you give that up. That'd have to be a pretty good gig, I think. At that age, who knows why they do anything? You give up, Dan? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Let's go with that. All right, so. Tonight's episode takes place after last Monday's episode. Is this one titled Back to the Future? No, it is not. It's entitled, uh, the fuck is wrong with you guys? (laughs) You don't even want to know. Um, so the, upon, um, 
meeting up with the twins' parents. The group was uh, attacked by a couple of giants coming out of the woods. And as that fight was going on, there was a that uh, tentacled creature was spotted behind the mill of this outskirts of this town. The giants were dispatched and the creature upon um, and a, taking an apparent wound or effect from the heart needle who Zero is in possession of was that creature was not found after that so it could be dead it could be hiding it could have turned invisible it could have shrunk down to microscopic size who knows and then the group followed the parents to the parents home further into the village and there over some food and some drink conversation was had <coughs> apparently where you are now is new stone but it is much different than what you remember there is apparently a large city of Forston on the hill instead of the main city being Lankmar. The, the parents both exhibited some type of powers, whether they be spells or psionic <laughs> or some other form of metahuman abilities. The Zero was asked about uh, attending a higher learning, uh, a place of higher learning. Uh, Ayn was asked about, um, really just asked about whatever he wanted to talk about. He proceeded to use metamorphosis to change into a man-sized version of the dragon that originally attacked the group so long ago and apparently the parents did not see or acknowledge the transformation and then as everyone was going to sleep Zero went uh, to the outhouse and looked in the Arcanomicon to see the location of the next weapon. And then he and Garrett had a brief conversation and then everyone went to sleep. And that is where we stopped. So unless um, someone wishes to have any new business, we will commence. You didn't send me any new character sheet. You just want me to write on my old one? Um, Same. Yeah, I mean, you. I think you both. Do you do you need any kind yeah, of information? Out. I was looking for that. Mm -hmm. No, I pretty much know everything. Yeah, I'm. I'm I can deal with that. Uh, Randy, I, mean, I don't know what. Yeah. Randy, you need, you need on your character sheet. You need. Uh, to be aware that your Thackle went down by one, your hit points went up by three, and the damage for you using a spear went up uh, a dice on each one. And what I mean by that is if you're doing a D6 on your sheet, you need to change that to a D8. <clears throat> and if you're doing a D8, you need to change that to a D10. And 
whatever the knockdown uh, dice for a spear is. I don't know. Do you remember what that is? Is it a D8? Uh, Two-handed uh, D8. Well, it would be one-handed because you've always got your shield. Right. So it might not uh, matter. Let me look it up for you here real quick. Spear, okay, one-handed. So it's D6, one-handed, but that is now up to a D8. So now you can knock down man-sized man creatures, or have a chance to anyway, with your spear. If you use it two-handed, it goes up to uh, a D10. And... Uh, da, 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 nothing else. I think changes there. Uh, Waldor, you went up a level in your uh, priestly uh, abilities. And because of that, I think you just got another spell slot in uh, third level. That's, let me see here. Yeah, you got one more third level spell you can cast. Okay? All right. All right. That's the only spell I picked up, the only spell slot? It is. Next level in priest, you would you'll be access. You have access to fourth level. Oh no! I thought maybe I got like more first or second. Um, no, they remain the same. Okay. So now with the, I have a question. Go ahead. Did my back go change? If I remember right, it should have. Well, let's see. Because it'll say right here. At least I think it will. Sinus Stackos. 12th level stays at 15. Well, what about my city throws? Did any of those change? No. 9 through 12 is that uh, particular okay. range. Good enough. Um, one thing you can put down, however, is um, Heart Needle has a plus one to hit. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> My fact of it, you know. Mm, well, let's see. Let's see if I can find it. Any of you guys watch the uh, Netflix Castlevania? I was thinking about it. I haven't. It's pretty good. I've been doing it. Really? I think I'm on season three now. I think that's where they're at, isn't it? What? Isn't that where they? I don't know. I I wasn't watching it until like last year, so I don't know where I don't know. I haven't reached the end yet, so I don't know. Okay, um, Waldor, a priest of level 12 has a Thacko of 14, and a rogue has a 15, so no, yours did not change. So what, what should it be? I said yours did not change. So is it still at 18 then? 
18. Yeah, you have it listed as 18 on my sheet. It's not keeping up with his uh, multi-classing Thacko's improvement. That doesn't make any sense. It's only keeping track of the one class and not the other for some weird reason. Well, even so, it should be 15 at the worst. Yeah, it should be either 15 or 14, not... <laughs> it's keeping, okay, it's only keeping track of his one level at that class. If he's only a level four thief, it's only saying his Thacko is that of a level four thief, not a level twelve thief. Um, if it's or vice versa with cleric. I'm level six. I was just being. I was just giving an example, dude. I'm not trying to. Oh, I see. No, I, no, I understand. I fucked it up. You're uh, okay, Chris. Yes. So at sixth level. For both classes, your Thacko is 18, so that is correct. I was giving you Shouldn't 12. It? I was giving you 12th level, and I, I, that's not correct. You're six in both, so it's correct at 18. So does Thacko's not increase based on every time the individual class increases? He takes the best of the two. Okay. Did not know how that worked. And since he is a demi-human, he goes up uh, one and then the other one. So it's he can't like go up way more in one than the other. Mm-hmm. I understand. Okie dokie. So um And let me just make sure of one other thing. I got a new toy, Randy. I'll show you it to the bunny. Oh, oh my Lord. 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 my gun. Oh, oh, you got uh, four hit points more. You're up to 41. Did you hear that, Dan? Yes, 41. Okay. All righty. Well, so, unless there's no further questions, you all are awakened in the morning with the sound of uh, people going in and out the door the uh, Joe the father is bringing in wood for the fireplace and the cooking area and everyone is awakened and Waldo you were sleeping uh, on the floor upstairs with Volmir and um, did I get speak to pray? If that's what you want to do, you can certainly do that. Volmir is going to uh, head downstairs and see what's going on. So I'll help the father with the wood. Okay. And while we're doing that, I want to ask him a few questions. Uh, phone call. Don't know who that is. Hello. 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 Okay. Who's making all that noise? That's me. He's turning this thing around again. Yeah. We're trying something at home. But then <coughs> all right. Dan, would be easier to go back to what you were using uh, last time? I, I can't. Can. My hard drive went out. Oh, of I'm it. sorry. I didn't get that. I haven't had time to play around with it. I got to go buy it. Oh, hey, who's making that annoying noise there, Rob? I guess I need to answer this. 
Hello? Hello? Nothing? What's up with you? Yeah, sorry. He got the wrong number. That's great. What'd you get for answering it? Who yep. it is? That's why we do this. Vibrate. Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay. So, hearing nothing else, Garrett, it's uh, your turn. Well, I'm going to ask his father what the currency is around here since we've traveled so much. Um. We have the um, coin of the realm. Gold, silver, copper. Yes. Outstanding. Um, you're saying that also that there's several people here that can heal? Uh, there, there's there's the, uh, the town healer. <clears throat> Does he work off of a cost basis or can you work trade with him or how yeah. does that work? No, he, he, uh, he does good work in, uh, in the name of Forsooth. Okay. Does he uh, ask for payment or for favor? No. Nope. I mean, no payment, but it, it is customary to, if a need arises, to help one's neighbor. Uh, are you in need of uh, medical assistance? Oh, yes, I am. I see. Okay, well, um, once we uh, find out what everyone else is doing, then maybe we'll uh, all take a walk through town and head on over. That sounds good. It's been a long time since I've been here. Where is this conversation taking place, Garrett? You pick. I figure we were outside gathering wood. Okay, then that's where you are. Okay, so um, he says, so uh, how did you meet my sons? At the fair or the festival. I see. Was it uh, Midsummer's long days? Yes. That was always their favorite. Well, we got paired up at a table together and start talking, and that's how we met one another before everything happened. How, how interesting, you know, that's how I met their mother all those years ago. Well, everybody here met that way with the exception of uh, uh, Waldorf. Waldorf, yes, I noticed uh, I mentioned something about just picking him up. Is that because he's small? No, we found him amongst our travel. I see, and he's, uh, what, is he like the, the jester? No, <laughs> he's actually, he's a priest. A, a priest, and, huh? Yes. yes. Wow. I he wonder, ran, uh, are there more of his kind? Uh, where we were just at, there were thousands of them. I see, and... How far away, where, is this, so in, somewhere in uh, Forston, there's a, a, a gathering or a, a ward of the city that has the short folk? Well, it's hard to explain, it's far from here. We actually, um, how it's explained to me is we, it, we went through a portal and teleported here. So it's not even of this realm. And, and I don't know. Did one of my uh, sons do that? Your sons can do that. That is, they have gone so far in their, in their, uh, in their programs. I am so proud. I can't wait to uh, introduce, <coughs> take Zero up to the academy. You would be amazed at their skills. Well, I, 
I look forward to seeing more of them on display or any at all, actually. Yep, they definitely become great partners. So you guys, he uh, he heads back in with some wood and he holds the door open for you. Okay. And inside you can see um, the brothers are uh, up and at them and the mom is like slicing up some open like opening up a uh, a cask then pulling out some salted like rations whether it be some vegetables or some bread and cheese and that sort of thing and so you can interact, you can interact with them if you want As far as the uh, cyanosis are concerned, uh, you got uh, eight hours of whatever that gives you. Yeah, that yeah, fills me up. I wasn't down that much. Did I get a good enough night's sleep to get a point back? Yes. As a matter of fact, if anyone is miss was missing any hit points at this point, you will get one back from overnight. Um, if I continue the conversation with them, I want to ask them how common it is for those giants just to come walking into the city. It has, it's, it has gotten more recently. We are, we understand that being on the outliers of the town, we are subject to dangers that uh, the the Lars are unable to respond as quickly, but the giant problem was, to say the least, uh, surprising. So. We are accustomed to certain um, certain things. In other words, we're aware that living out here, you have to be aware of your surroundings. Uh, the last time that there was a an issue with giants, the Yalars were able to drive away those giants and on top of it we were told that they followed them back to where they were uh, like I guess for that lack of a better word like camping or or staying uh, closer to us and killed or drove off the remaining giants and that's been almost a year since that happened oh, I, uh, nice. you're up good uh just having a nice conversation with your friend garrett here uh cobb did i hear this you lars thing yeah okay okay I say, you know, Father, I haven't heard a story about the Ulars in a hot, hot minute. Could you uh, tell me one? He says, a story? Well, I mean, if you're, if you're mean the, the, there isn't so much a story of the Ulars as there is the, the reason that they are so revered, um, and that goes back to Forsooth and the slaying of the Giant King. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm sorry, that's what I meant. I'm still kind of 
recovering. Well, according to for now, your mother would certainly be uh, more able to tell the story. Mother, come over here and uh, tell I. He's showing a little bit of interest in uh, the religious story of Forsooth and Anna. And she's like, "Oh, you, you've never shown an interest before, son. What's uh?" But that's great. Come over here and uh. I uh, walk over and sit next to her, and yeah, it's just something I've been thinking about in the past a little bit. I've done a lot of growing up these past few days. I, honestly, it seems like I've been away for a lot longer and have experienced a lot more than just three days. Well, I can certainly tell there's something different about you, but I don't know what exactly. But anyway, the story of poor Susan Aaron. And she proceeds to tell the story basically of what you guys lived through except for there's no mention of you all and any reference to you all is replaced with uh, Forsooth and then Forsooth uh, made the po most powerful weapon to slay the giant king that had enslaved the Yalars and from then on they pledged themselves to his cause and his righteousness what was the name of the weapon? Uh, let's see. If I remember right, it was called Ear Piercer. Okay. <laughs> and she walks over and she uh, says if and picks up a, a thing of water and puts it in a, a bowl. And she says, if if I was to ever go to attempt to join the clergy, I would be granted my own access to the sacred texts. And I would be able to tell you with more precise precision all of the names and stories of legend. Oh, well, that one I know very well. There's lots of people that I've spoken to that shared the story. Oh, that's wonderful. Is that what piqued your interest in the uh, way of Forsooth and Divine Providence? Yeah. I mean, it honestly, it's... I heard so much about him that you can almost... I feel as if I've met him and actually talked to him. Sounds like you've been touched by the misty spirit. <laughs> oh, I I don't know. That's I've, she I've always in, thought. Gives you a big hug and she's like, <clears throat> you always were my precious boy. some point I'll be coming in, Kyle. Just whenever you decide. Power. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, you're there. Oh, okay. Cobb. You want to do something, Ayn? Yes, I would like to um, activate a power. I'm going to attempt to establish contact with my mother. Okay. I rolled an 11, which should be really fine, um, assuming that we are the same people, uh, there shouldn't be a negative there, and she's in eyesight, so there shouldn't be a negative there. Correct? Correct. Okay. Um, you send your mind out to touch your mother's mind, and... Your power fails. Uh -oh. you, you, and uh, it's one point. Oh. 
All right. Would anybody like a, some bread and cheese? I've got it right here. Yes, please. Yes, please. Sounds good. Okay, so she delivers to anyone that would like some, and um, she says, here, we got this. Uh, father went down to the stream and got a fresh two buckets of water, so there you go. You can dip your cup in the bucket if you want something to drink. I do. I do. I do. I do. Yes. 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 Okay. Um, Joe looks it up. Looks at everybody and says, "Garrett and I were talking this morning, and he said that he wasn't feeling well. So I I told him about our town's." healer and he would like to go visit him and was there anyone else that would like to do come with us sure why not i think we all should i think we all should go yeah i want to do all the work here um where where is he maybe i could take us i know there's lots of chores to be done where is he well i mean it, you were to head further into town, he would be at the temple. I mean, if you want to walk into town, I'm sure you know the way. Unless you want to keep. How do you feel today? Are you still under the. The idea that you're not from here and that you're not my kids, or what do you mean by that? Yeah, you're, 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 last, you're our, last night, you, 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 I don't remember you gave, who said said that something was wrong, and uh, we were just, we were just tired. tired. Long journey. Yeah, I really don't remember that to be honest. See, dear, what did I tell you? They they just needed a good night's sleep. Yep. Like, well, yep. very good. That's that's, that's the good, trick. Your mother was a little bit worried last night, and I'll admit it. So was I. Where's uh, where's Waldorf? Praying. So no he knows that he uh, he's asking the people in the room. Oh, probably still upstairs with the witch. Yeah, he's probably still doing. Talking, communing with his um, idol. I see. Well, do uh, do we want to wait or what's? Uh, I'm not. Yeah, we should wait for him. I know he would be cur very curious about this. I know that Garrett spoke highly of him, but I don't want to just leave anyone that I don't know really well here with Mother. No, it's fine. He can. We'll wait for him. I understand. Okay. If I didn't know him so well, I would be agreeing with you, Father. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I'm going to go out and check the fields. If any of you want to come with me, you're more than welcome. Well, sure, Father. I'll join you. It's been a while. To say after yesterday's little event, I think I'll take a wander out too, just in case. Okay. Um, what are you all? Are you dressed as if you're going to war? No, I my armor would be off. I might still have my sword. I would probably still have my sword on me though. Okay. And Garrett, you were saying? I am geared up. Okay, make a charisma check, please. Natural 20. Oh, roll it again. Uh, 19. Okay. Total. 
So you three set off to the fields of Northern Hash. Garrett, Joe, and I. Leaving Anna and uh, Zero there by themselves. Well, no, in the other room is uh, Aldor. <clears throat> I hope. <laughs> okay, so Anna's uh, trying to make conversation with Zero and says, "So, in all your, uh, in the time you were gone, did you give any more thought to your dad's idea?" Say again, God, you, you muffled there. Did you, by the time you were gone, did you give any more thoughts to your dad's idea? Yeah, I, uh, I think I said something last night about it. I thought it was a great idea. I can't wait. Okay, what, uh, what changed your mind? I know that you didn't really want to be separated from your brother for that long, but... Well, who knows? He might join us. No, I, I'm, I'm not the... The uh, university type. He's made that clear. Unless he's changed. He is. Uh, he's. He's. You know, we've studied quite a bit together recently, and I don't know. I. I think he might have changed. It's hard to say. Ultimately, he'll, as always, he'll, he'll decide for himself at the last minute what he's going to do. That part is not changed. Well, I. I know that. Um, Unless you are specifically chosen and evaluated by the headmaster of the school, you you won't be together if you were to go. Right, I understand that. Uh, but that you can certainly make your case for that if that's something that you both think is important. Uh, your father and I really don't care one way or the other if that was the case. We just want to make sure that you're prepared for, you know, adulthood and what responsibilities that brings. Oh, I, I'm i prepared. You, you've done a good job with me. <clears throat> over these last several years and getting me prepped. I can't wait. It's the right thing to do. You know, um, there has been... I, I don't want to say rumor because I heard it directly, but there has been an interest because of your chosen path. <coughs> I know that it has caught the attention of Prime Declar. Oh, really? And I think there might be an opportunity there for you to serve in a capacity even more than what you dreamed of. Well, that would be that would great. Be great. Would you be willing to travel and be gone from your brother for many years if that opportunity arose? Perhaps. I mean, it's it's an opportunity that only comes uh, comes to us once in a lifetime. So, yeah, I, I I'd be stupid not to take advantage of that. <laughs> What's well, a few years in the scheme of things? I mean, you know, think of what I'll learn and what I can teach you guys and my brother and whoever else might come back. You know, there's uh, other other bonuses to going into that profession. Like what? Well. If you choose to go to a place that 
your specific talents are in demand, I'm sure you would be given access to some of the local females. <coughs> Is that something that, I mean, I, I am your mother, but I've never yes, seen you. Yes, I still like. I've never seen you with a girl before, so I'm just curious. Is that. I have. Randy, where are you? <laughs> He's not there, unfortunately. Um, so, I mean, there's, they have their ways of getting talented healers to go to places where their talents are needed and important. So, anyway, um, I'm going to go collect uh, eggs this morning. Uh, if you want to help? Yes. Uh, Grab the basket down there by the door and let's go. I grabbed the basket. Okay, and you guys head off to collect some eggs. Meanwhile, Waldor, you're just praying up a storm. Um, as far as I know, you were, you were, um, you didn't you get my, quite a few spells. Does that sound familiar? Didn't you give, get my message? On my phone? Uh, over Messenger. Uh, you know, it didn't pop up on my screen. But you'd be better off sending me a text if you would. Yeah. yeah. Don't send a messenger because then we got to exit this to go out and get it. And it's just a pain just, in the ass. I think what I've done here is I just have like the app going on the screen just so it'll be less going on here on the on the screen. So but send, send me a text if you would. Okay. So we'll, we'll get back to you. The three that are out in the Northern hash fields, what you see is, um, it's about, I don't know, two acres. And there are several other strip farms off uh, some closer, some near. There's different types of fencing that are in between certain ones. Some some of them, there's no fencing. There's just um, like a, like muddy tracks where you can tell that the, the uh, oxen or the horses or whatever that are used to plow the fields walk and there appears to be several townsfolk out in the fields or the um in the farms going about their business and you notice that the there's just starting to be the first uh sprouts of some type of plant that's been planted in rows the rows are probably you know, 80 to 90 feet long. And there's several of them. Like I said, it's about two acres. So as you're walking, um, he's mentioning how the, the rains in the spring will cause a good um, crop because the this particular plant seems to grow really really quick in the spring and then it relates to like an early harvest and if you can sometimes get lucky with the weather and the 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 seasons you can actually get in two harvests and those are the years where you can really 
uh, make your money back by uh, selling the extra to the town and then taking it into Forreston to sell at the market. So he seems pretty proud of his farm. But aside from that, is there any other thing or conversation that you two wish to engage in while you're out in this scene? Um, yeah. Oh, and the, just so that I should say, the weather today, it seems to be a, a clear, uh, slightly cool morning, but you can tell the way it's it's shaping up, it's probably going to warm up pretty good once the sun gets going. So, but go ahead. So, I, uh, after a while, I start working with my father, and I tell him, so, Father, I forget. What have you really chosen to do? Or, uh, I should say, what path have you taken? You mean being a farmer? No, mentally. Oh, mentally. Um, well... Being uh, unable to progress uh, and being unable to, uh, that's the wrong word. What am I saying, son? I just don't have that much interest in it, honestly. I'd rather farm and not draw that much attention to myself, to the Yalars or to Forsooth. So I, I mean, I'm been able to um, create a like a, a barrier and it's just for protection and that's about it I, I have tried other things but I haven't been successful I I don't think that I have the aptitude for it like you and your brother I just I, you didn't get it from me, I guess. I guess you got it from your mother. I don't know. Well, you never know. I mean, it it's so random on how some of the stuff appears, it seems. Well, it's interesting you say that, because I know that uh, the one Yalar that, who is, this is like his territory to walk and occasionally come through the town... Uh, he one time he he just asked because he asks everybody if they can do anything and I told him what I could do and then whenever I said that was all I could do he he just said uh, he called me a, a wild talent and I don't even know what that means so I, if you ask your mother she'd tell you I'm not very wild and my talent is in <coughs> soil Farming. yeah so i no, it's. I understand. I I don't. Have you heard that before? I'm sorry. Sorry. In your travels, did you hear that? No, I've I've been trying to basically not get noticed as much. Um, I do. I am able to do quite a few things. I just don't like to show it as much. Um, but there is one thing that I'm really looking forward to trying and uh, pursuing. Oh, what's that? that? Well, it's extremely rare and, from my understanding, extremely difficult. But there's a way where I can turn myself into something different. Um, not even yeah, change my. He winks at uh, Garrett and he goes, Oh, you mean somebody that the ladies will go for? No. no. I he mean something. He goes, I'm just kidding, son. I love oh, you. I know, I know. No, what I'm saying is something that even metal could not pierce. 
it's a way that I could change what I'm made of. Instead of being made from skin and bone, I could ch be made of pure metal. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that sounds way above what I understand. So I, I don't know what good that would do you, but... <clears throat> it's also for protection. Uh, okay, I'm all for that. If somebody were to try to hurt me, it's a really great way to protect myself. Garrett, make a perception check, please. Oh, not even close. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's not good. But you know what? I don't care. Hello? Uh oh. Oh man, did he fuck up my internet? Yeah, I saw that. 